Romance and Relationships, The Surprising Path to Marriage. Romance is one of life's most intriguing mysteries, and the settings in which it blossoms can influence its long-term success. Interestingly, workplace romances are statistically more likely to lead to marriage compared to relationships that start in bars or at a friend's house. The structured environment of the workplace often fosters connections based on shared values, teamwork, and mutual respect. Unlike a casual encounter at a party or a bar, these relationships develop over time, often grounded in deep understanding and shared goals. However, workplace relationships also come with challenges. Power dynamics, workplace gossip, and potential conflicts of interest can complicate things. Setting boundaries, maintaining professionalism, and openly communicating with both your partner and your colleagues are essential for ensuring these relationships thrive without disrupting your career. In addition, humor plays a significant role in attraction. Women often report being more influenced by a man's sense of humor than his physical appearance. Humor showcases intelligence, creativity, and emotional warmth qualities that signal compatibility and long-term potential. A good laugh can break the ice, build rapport, and even strengthen intimacy. Sex and Physiology – The Science of Pleasure Sex is not just a physical act. It's a complex interplay of hormones, emotions, and cultural influences. For example, the hormone prolactin is released after orgasm, inducing relaxation and sleepiness. This natural post-orgasm high isn't just pleasurable. It has health benefits, including stress relief and improved sleep quality. Yet, some everyday practices may negatively affect sexual well-being. Shaving or waxing pubic hair, while a common grooming habit, has been linked to heightened stress levels and an increased risk of skin irritation. Pubic hair serves as a natural barrier, protecting sensitive skin and reducing friction during sex. It's essential to weigh the pros and cons of grooming choices for both hygiene and comfort. The clitoris is another remarkable aspect of female physiology. It not only grows throughout a woman's lifetime, but can be up to 2.5 times larger after menopause. This increased size contributes to stronger orgasms later in life, which is why many women report enhanced sexual satisfaction in their 50s and beyond. Cultural insights, how sex varies around the world. Sexual norms and behaviors vary widely across cultures. According to a global survey, the French lead the world in sexual activity, averaging 137 encounters per year, far above the global average of 103. France's open attitude towards sex, including its embrace of foreplay and oral stimulation as natural parts of arousal, may contribute to this higher frequency. Foreplay, often described as the stretching before a workout of sex, is an essential component of intimacy. Skipping it can lead to unsatisfying encounters, while prioritizing it enhances both physical pleasure and emotional connection. Foreplay stimulates arousal, deepens intimacy, and helps partners better understand each other's desires. Myths and misconceptions, debunking sexual taboos. Many myths surround sex, some of which can lead to unnecessary anxiety or shame. For example, pelvic prolapse, a condition where the vagina falls out and hangs between the legs, is relatively rare but treatable. Women experiencing this should seek medical advice, as surgical and non-surgical options are available to restore function and comfort. Similarly, the pull-out method, while slightly more effective than unprotected sex, is far from reliable as a form of birth control. It fails to account for pre-ejaculate, which can contain sperm, and relies heavily on timing and self-control, factors that are far from foolproof. Another common myth is that a large penis can stretch out or damage a vagina. In reality, the vagina is incredibly elastic, designed to accommodate childbirth. 
its ability to expand and contract means that size differences are less significant than people often believe. For pleasure, studies show that girth matters more than length. The psychology of sex, what really turns us on. Sexuality is deeply personal and shaped by psychological factors as much as physical ones. Women, for example, are more likely to cheat during ovulation, possibly due to evolutionary drives linked to fertility. However, sexual preferences vary widely. Some women prefer gentle touches, while others enjoy more intense stimulation. Communication is key to understanding and respecting these differences. The idea that sex must always lead to orgasm can be harmful, creating pressure and anxiety for all genders. Focusing solely on the end goal can detract from the experience, leading to dissatisfaction. Instead, couples should embrace a broader definition of intimacy that prioritizes connection and mutual pleasure. Interestingly, nearly 15% of women have never experienced an orgasm, highlighting the importance of education and open dialogue about female pleasure. Exploring techniques such as clitoral stimulation or the use of sex toys can help address this gap. Dreams and fantasies. The subconscious side of sex. Sexual fantasies and dreams are a normal part of human psychology. About 10% of dreams contain sexual content, with both men and women reporting these experiences equally. Sleeping face down has been linked to an increased likelihood of sexual dreams, possibly due to the body's position stimulating nerve endings. Despite societal stigma, fantasies play a healthy role in sexual expression. They allow individuals to explore desires in a safe, imaginative way, enhancing creativity and self-awareness. However, not everyone has sexual fantasies. Around 3% of people report no fantasies at all, a reminder of the diversity in human sexuality.